mean, my mom, I was, I was in public school for kindergarten through uh, second grade, mm -hmm. and then I went to private school, third and fourth grade, went back to public school for fifth and sixth grade, went to another private school for seventh and eighth grade, and then my mom got a job offer um, for Arizona Career Academy. That's when oh, it was first yeah, Arizona yeah, Career yeah. Academy. They had a, that was the old um, Trejo building there, yeah, and uh, it, um, they, the office was up front and where um, the classes are, you know, mm -hmm. the, the front of the building. And uh, and she, yeah, she started there as their, like, you know, administrative person. Mm -hmm. um, and she worked there. She, she brought me over, wanted me to go there as well. I never went to the high school. And so I started there uh, for um, ninth grade, ninth and tenth grade, kind of, you know, not level. Mm -hmm. And I would go to school with her at 7 in the morning and be there, you know, until I was able to leave, and it was nice because I, I went there, and I was able to graduate uh, two weeks shy of uh, turning 17. Wow. I was able to do the world of work, go out and work, and get credit for that, and then um, I was in the top 3% of my class, so they awarded me with an academic scholarship to attend Central Arizona College. So I was able to go to school for two years for free, which I took advantage of as much as I could. I put everything in as much as I could out there and ended up graduating from CAC in 2005. Yeah, it was nice because I was able to, to finish early. It was before they had the curriculum that they have now, though, online. Mm -hmm. It's a different. It was it was the very first whatever they had right. on the computer. And um, so I was able to, to complete as much as you want. I mean, that's the whole point. Sure. And, 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 and I didn't want to go to high school. <laughs> I didn't really Good motivation to be there, and so she went there for about four years. At me, even just a little bit after um, I graduated, mm -hmm. and I graduated the class of twenty, maybe up. And we we held the graduation class at the Sheridan Hotel up in Tempe. They didn't do anything at CDC yeah, okay. yet here, so that was nice. I like, the, I like to be able to like the instructor was in the class, and you're able just to you know if you had anything worries or questions, you know, or we were able to get an individualized attention yes. more so. And it wasn't, if they didn't have as bad, they're not as, as, you know, many classes I think now is what you have it broken up. It was only like two main labs and that was it. That was just two that That's I was all your in. options. And, um, and so that was really nice. So like well, no, I, I went to school at what was called Coolidge Christian School at the time in, in the town of Coolidge. <laughs> and um, I, uh, it was, it was, it was the same, you know, it was a small school, and so I was already used to to going, and it, the, the first thing in the morning, I liked the four-hour classes, that was mm -hmm. nice, that's what I really liked, was, uh, and in the morning, I didn't like the, they didn't have the evening, and they were only doing the morning and afternoon, they didn't even have an evening, yeah. um, which they do now, yeah. right, they have mm -hmm. the evening one, and so I would be there, yeah, first thing in the morning, be done by like 11 o'clock, 11, 11.30, and I was able to go to work part-time between 11 and 5 until my mom got off work. And then I'd go home from there, and so we were able to work it out that way um, for a while until I forgot to say I worked my own case. Shorten, I mean, if I wanted to go in the afternoon, I could, if I, you know, if, if, if they would have the evening, then yeah, I mean, that would have worked out too. Um, but just to be able to, you know, start in, in the morning time and then get done, be able to work part-time as well too, and um, have that count as credit too, I mean, I counted as well. And then, uh, you know, work at my own pace to be able to get done when I wanted to get done. And I was graduating at very unique. and turned 18. Because so. <laughs> that's why I started at CAC when I was 16. I started there taking part-time classes initially, just a couple of classes, but then when I got awarded the scholarship, I was able just to put everything into it wow. and go out there. So that really helped. That was amazing. Two years. membership sales coordinator for the Greater Casa Grande Chamber of Commerce. I've been here for two and a half years and I go and get businesses to uh, become part of the chamber, um, invest their marketing um, dollars with us to help promote their company, help build their company um, and sustain. I mean, um, and the general um, public as well too. I mean, anyone that's a resident here in Casa Grande, we work with uh, the city real closely uh, with um, with uh, projects, we do um, like buy local events. Uh, we uh, work closely with the education system here. Um, so a lot of a lot of ways that um, 
we're currently developing a, a conference for 2010 for um, for uh, mothers and their daughters. So there's there's a lot that I'm a I'm a part of. Um, just even besides to selling our memberships here, but my mm -hmm. main job is selling memberships, keeping keeping our members as well who are already members, keeping the renewals, and uh, and I work closely with uh, with the public as well. Anyone that comes in looking for information and uh, helping our businesses grow and, and you know stay um, in business here. And yeah. so it's um it's very I think it's just it's really important to um, to uh, help them out and best as possible. I feel uh, personally, I mean, when I signed someone up, that's, I mean, I, that's like my, my client, you know, that's so why I signed up. And so when they have any questions or any concerns or anything with, you know, what's going on, they'll come and they'll, they'll meet with me. We have a, my president CEO, Helen, has been here for, she's been over in Chambers for over 20 years yeah. of her life. So I'm not as experienced as her, but I have um, uh, a good mentoring system here with the ladies that have been here mm -hmm. um, to not only, I mean, help out professional life, but even, you know, my personal life. It's yeah. nice. I've made a lot of good friends and connections through the Chamber of Commerce. So. Awesome.